Our next design is to improve the transient response where the design response has a desirable percent overshoot and shorter settling time compared to the uncompensated system. So to improve the transient response, we can use either PED, the proportional derivative from the idle compensator by place a zero, or to use lead compensator from non-idle compensator by place a zero and a more distant pole. The transient response of a system can be selected by choosing an appropriate closed-loop pole location on the S-plane. If this point on the root locus, if this point is on the root locus, then a simple gain adjustment is all that is required in order to meet the transient response specification. If the closed-loop pole location is not on the root locus, then the root locus must be reshaped so that the compensated root locus goes through the selected closed loop pole location. In order to accomplish these tasks, poles and zero can be added in the forward path to produce a new open loop function whose root locus goes through the design point on the S plane. One way to speed up the original system that generally works is to add single zero to forward path. The zero can be represented by a compensator whose transfer function is GC equal to S plus ZC. So, for example, number three for PD compensator, uh, we place a zero. So the uncompensated system of figure A operating with a damping ratio of 0 0.4 becomes a compensated system in figure B by addition of a compensating zero at negative two. So this one, uh, uh, this is the compensated system by addition of a compensating zero at negative three in this figure C and also by adding a compensating zero at negative four in figure D. For each compensated case, the dominant second order poles are farther out along the 0 0.4 damping ratio line than the uncompensated system. Okay, compared to this one, this dominant pole is more close to imaginary axis compared to the uncompensated. It's more farther out from the imaginary axis. Each of the compensated cases has dominant poles with the same damping ratio 0 0.4 okay, for compensated and also uncompensated system. Thus, we predict that uh, based on this uh, similar damping ratio, uh, the percent overshoot will be the same for each case. Also, the compensated uh, dominant poles has more negative real parts compared to the uncompensated dominant poles. Okay, So, this one is more negative compared to the uncompensated dominant poles. Hence, we predict that the settling time, which is equal to 4 over sigma d, for compensated cases will be shorter than for the uncompensated case. Next, the compensated dominant closed loop pole with the more negative real part will have the shorter um, peak time, where peak time is equal to pi over omega d. Okay, so for compensated dominant pole, it has more negative part compared to um, uncompensated imaginary part. This is 2, while this is 6, 5, and 4. So it will has shorter peak time. Okay, so all the compensated system will have smaller peak time compared to the uncompensated since the imaginary parts of the compensated system are larger. Okay, compared to this uncompensated system. So we see that the compensated response <coughs> This is for negative 
zero uh, compensator at negative two. This is for compensator zero at negative three, and this is for compensator zero at negative four. While this one is for the uncompensated system. So we conclude that the compensated response are faster compared to uh, the uncompensated system and also the compensated system has less error than the uncompensated response. This table summarizes the results obtained from the root locus of each of the design cases. This is for uncompensated system. This is the compensator system for figure B where uh, the zero is this is we, where we add uh, please correct this one where we add zero at negative two and this is where we add zero at negative three and this is where we add the compensator zero at negative four. Okay, so compare the settling time for the uncompensated system uh, is faster than the compensated system. Same goes to peak time is also faster than the compensated system.